Hello, you're watching James. My name's James. You're watching me, and I'm talking about watches. Well, about 10 or 11 years ago, I was ready to buy myself a new watch to use for my work. I needed a watch that was strong, sturdy, could take a beating, could deal with some extreme climates. It showed the date and time nice and clearly. It had a nice backlight and something that I just didn't have to worry about too much. And I also didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. So what do you think I bought? Well, of course I bought a G-Shock. Now this is the G-Shock that I bought. Now it's not my favorite G-Shock by any stretch of the imagination. However, at the time it was affordable. It did everything that I needed it to do. It had a really good backlight. And being a G-Shock, I knew that it should last. This one also came with a 10 year battery life and it has absolutely met that 10 years and exceeded it. I have not replaced the batteries in this watch at all. So what I wanna do for you today is not so much review this particular watch. I just wanna to show to you what a G-Shock looks like after 10 years of being bashed around and really just identify how amazing it still looks now compared to the day that I bought it. So let's flip the camera around. Let's check out this watch. Let's see how this thing really looks now after 10 years of abuse. So it's not a review of this particular watch today. I just really want to show you how well it survived over 10 or 11 years of pretty harsh treatment. Let's just have a look at the actual strap itself. You'll see there is a little bit of marking on it. There's a tiny little bit of wear and tear. There's still a little bit of dirt and grime on it, even though I have given it a bit of a clean. But when you look on the inside, really, besides a little bit of the dirt and the grime, I can't really see too many chunks, nothing particularly missing from it that, that really after this amount of time and wear should be missing. The buckle looks brand new. The rest of the strap still basically looks brand new. Even though I've been wearing it in the one spot the entire time, there's no wear and tear to that strap hole there. As you can see, it looks like it's been sitting in a box with probably a little bit of dust. On the case back, there's a couple of little marks. As you can see, there's that one long mark. But again, nothing specifically to show that it's had a lot of abuse, this watch. When you look at the shroud of the watch, there's a few little marks, a few little chunks missing, but still, after the amount of abuse that this watch has been through, I'm shocked that it doesn't look a lot worse. And that acrylic crystal covering the dial itself, it looks brand new still. That shroud really has saved any impact or any issues with the glass itself. The insert on the inside, there's a bit of dirt and a bit of grime in there. But other than that, it still looks very good. You can see that it still presents well. You can still read the date and the time. Everything is doing exactly what it's meant to do, even after 10 years worth of extensive use. Even the backlight is still working perfectly. Now, I haven't actually had to use that too many times throughout its life, so it hasn't sucked the battery too much. But as you can see, it works perfectly. So I think it really shows you how well a G-Shock can survive even after a lot of abuse. This particular watch, as I've said, is not my favorite G-Shock by any means. It was just certainly an affordable watch that did everything that I needed from it. And I'm really shocked and surprised at how good it still looks. That's it really. Just wanted to show you how good and how well this G-Shock has survived throughout the years. And I do thank you for watching the video. I hope that you do subscribe if you have enjoyed this particular video. Check out my other videos. I've got heaps online now. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.